I wanted to put out a simple video of sorts. I got this new audio interface to replace my Focusrite Scarlett Solo, Solo Gen 3. I decided on the Audient ID4 Mark II. I look around the internet and found one from the Audient outlet in Reverb. So I thought I'll give it a go instead of buying one brand new. So here we go. The first thing I got was this massive caution thing. It came in a nice, well, not nice, but it came in this wrapper with a security tape around it, which gives a nice sense of confidence. And it was wrapped up like this in three layers of bubble wrap. So, you know, well protected. And I took it out already. And here we go, sliding into the frame. Ta-da! The audience. <gasps> adjust. Adjust the camera angle. Adjust for shaking. And here we go again. The odd and here we are. The audience ID for Mark II. Audio interface. Let's try that again. The audience ID for. Mark II audio interface, two in, two out. I won't go into the technical details or the other details that uh, other YouTube channels actually do. So I'll just show what's in the box. Here we are. We have the quick start guide. This is in the box of when we order from the outlet. I order from Reverb. So this thingy, keep all, all the knobs in place so that nothing gets jarred. And the audio interface, Audient ID for Mark II, which is quite nicely wrapped up in this plastic bag. So let's go ahead and pull that out so that I can get this audio interface out and actually start playing with it. Because that was... I'm actually recording from my... Well, shoot, can be said backup mic from my other microphone. The Editor Keys SL600 con USB condenser mic. And uh, yeah, you know, it gives... For me, it gives a nice sound. So I like it. And... It's a handy backup. Oh, there's a nice hefty weight to it. So here we are, the Audient ID4 Mark II. Nice and semi-shiny. I've seen it described as gun battle, but I'm fairly sure people, other people reading off the um, audience other marketing script. I just, I'll just call it steel or silver, you know, grey. Anything else in the box? Let's find out. Ah, just a USB-C to USB-C cable. And that's it. Quite unassuming for the outlet version. Hope you liked, the, hope you liked this video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you. Bye-bye.